Marshall Thompson. With special guest star, James Garner. Brought to you by... Post, the cereals that happen to be just a little bit better. You know a cereal will please you most when it comes to you in the package from Post. Call Post, Post cereals happen to be just a little better. A little bit better. A little bit better than any other cereal happens to be. That's not her natural hair color at all. I've seen her hair every color but plaid. <laughs> Mrs. Carpenter? Yes? I'm Barney Kay. Oh, yes. Your husband was going to leave some insurance papers for me. Uh, uh, this is my friend, Mrs. Smith. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, George tells me you're an actor's agent. Well, I prefer to think of myself as an artist representative and guidance counselor. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, just make yourself comfortable, and I'll get the papers for you. Thank you. <laughs> you are in a movie picture show business, Mr. King? That's right. Say, Mrs. Smith, you're French, aren't you? Yes. I have kind of an ear for accents. <laughs> Listen, I just booked a boy of mine in a yarn called Paris Confidential. A boy of yours? Yeah. He has a couple of lines to say in French, and he could use someone like you to teach him to say them like he really speaks the language. Oh, no. No, Mr. K, that I'm not a teacher. Oh. Well, do you know anyone I could hire? <laughs> hire? Yes, I'd be willing to pay, oh, $75. $75? Does that make you feel like a teacher? Teacher! I'm practically a professor! <laughs> Johnny, oh. Johnny, you are sure you don't mind my teaching the little boy? No, no. I don't understand why anybody should pay so much for it, though. What's the um, fancy hat for? Huh? I want to make it seem like a party. Well? And the French lesson is going to be like a game we play. Now, each time the little boy answers right, he gets a cookie or a chocolate. I I'm a pretty smart teacher, eh? Yes, indeed. Why, in no time at all, you speak perfect French and weigh 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Let me put the head for the party. Well, good luck, teacher. I got work to do. Where are you going? I work in the kitchen. Oh. Uh, call me at recess. Huh? Oh, I do. <laughs> Welcome to the party! <laughs> Mrs. Smith? Uh, I, I'm James Garner. Barney Case said he had spoken to you about some French lessons for me. Uh, well, won't you come in, please? Thank you. I've seen you. You James Garner! That's right. But, but Mr. Case said that the lessons were for his boy. Oh, well, Barney always talks that way. All his clients are boys, except the girls. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to interrupt your party, so... Oh, oh no, that, that, that is not a party. It was because I, I was expecting you to be a, a little boy, and you're not a little boy, and not one bit at all. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if Barney confused you. Oh, well, that's all right. It happens all the time. Oh, well, uh, your time is, is very busy, I think. Uh, if you want to sit down, we go right to the lesson. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. Garner? Is smoking allowed in the classroom? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Now you just make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Oh, I, I have the script here. Oh. <gasps> My French lines are underlined. That is a movie script? Uh, yes. Ooh. 
Uh, uh, my, my lines are underlined. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, um, you read the first line, so, so I can hear how you say. Oh. Uh, bonjour, mademoiselle, comment que va? <laughs> No, uh, no. Bon, jour. Bon. Bon. <laughs> the sound. Bon, sound is more nasal. Bon. <laughs> uh, put your nose into it. <laughs> in your nose. Oh. Uh. <coughs> Bonjour. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now, uh, you listen carefully to me. Huh? Uh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Comment ça va? Yeah, you try. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Comment ça va? Very good. <laughs> you really think... You really think so? Yes, yes. Now, will you do it once more, and then we go on with the script. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Comment ça va? The world's richest coffee is now an instant coffee. New instant Uban. Richest because, like famous ground Uban, it's blended with rare aged coffee beans. See the difference. The aged beans Uban adds to its blend are mellowed month after month to a bronze richness before roasting. Most coffee beans are roasted still green, good but can't compare in richness. Uban, blended with coffee beans that are aged, just as vintage wine, the choicest cheese, the finest steak are aged. New instant Uban with aged coffee beans added to its blend. World's richest coffee, Uban. Pennies more in price, the premium coffee of General Foods. Enjoy it soon. Deep, dark, delicious Uban. Au revoir, je dois m'en aller maintenant. Much better, much better. You were nice and nosy that time. <laughs> We sound very good. Say, would you, would you do me a favor? Would you read the whole scene with me? Uh, we're going to shoot it tomorrow, and I'd like to be sure I know all the lines. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I don't think I could do that. Oh, sure. There's, it's just for the words. Go ahead. Try it. Oh, well, well, all right, then. Uh, well, are you sure I can do that? Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is my husband, John Smith. How do you do, Mr. Smith? How do you do? What, uh, what happened to the little boy that you're going to teach? Well, I'm afraid my agent confused your wife. Yeah, the little boy turned out to be James Garner. Oh, yes, I thought... It's a surprise, eh, Johnny? Yeah, a big one. <laughs> uh, uh, you go back to your work because we have to finish our lesson. Oh, uh, well, uh, very nice meeting you, Mr. Garner. Uh, nice to have met you, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> we can start right here. No, I think you better leave now. It is too dangerous here. Leave? A minute ago you said... I know, but, but you saw what happened. He almost caught us. It isn't wrong, you know it isn't. Please, please, go. He, he, he's my husband. Husband, you can't be serious about that blundering nitwit. <laughs> he loves me, he loves me, and, and no, 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 no. Push me away, move. then. Kick me out. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, I, uh, I, uh, oh boy. Your wife and I were just reading the scene. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was interested in the scene. I mean, it was very, very interesting. Very interesting. Your wife read the scene very well. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Hey. Say, Mrs. Smith, how would you like to do a small part in the picture I play? Uh, me? You, you, you mean in a movie? Well, I don't want to be a line or so, but I think I can swing it. Oh, well, no. I, I, I don't think I, I better do that. Oh, there's nothing to it. Oh, really? Really. Well, uh, well, it might be fun for you, honey. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you're home. Hi, Susie. Hi, John. Listen, Annie called from the studio, and she said to tell you that she might be a little late tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait a minute, the studio? That was yesterday. No, they called her again today, and they asked her to come out and read for another part, and she got it. Oh, by George, she must be pretty good. Yeah. Well, anyway, she said she had some shopping to do and a business appointment, and she'd be home just as soon as she could. Oh, well, thanks for calling, Susie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Goodbye. a little too bright for you, I'll, I'll turn them down. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go at the studio today? Oh, you would have been thrilled. I worked for the director, and he said you were wonderful, Veronica. Come back uh, tomorrow. But, 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 <laughs> Veronica? <laughs> yes. That's my professional name. Veronica Bouchard. <laughs> well, you know, Veronica Smith. It's a little, um, you know. Yes, yes, I, uh, I know. <laughs> Veronica Bouchard, huh? Yes. It has a seductive sound, doesn't it? <laughs> it's my agent's idea, but actually, <laughs> I... <laughs> you have an agent now? Oh, yes. We find we really can get along without them. <laughs> Angel, I, or Veronica, <laughs> I have a nice little part for you in the kitchen. <laughs> so as the scene opens, you're fixing dinner for a hungry husband. Oh, no. No, I thought we could go out for dinner. Somewhere where I can be seen. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, I'll take you out to dinner. I knew you would understand. Hello. Uh, Jim, uh, this is John Smith. Oh, oh, hello, John. How are you? Uh, lousy. Listen, I uh, know you're trying to be nice when you gave my wife that part in the picture, but uh, I wish you'd have kept your big, handsome mouth shut. <laughs> Would you mind repeating that and slowly? <laughs> I think I missed something. <laughs> uh, well, let me put it this way. I married a sweet, wonderful girl whose head was filled with a lot of quaint ideas about... Uh, 
the importance of marriage, the authority of a husband, the sanctity of a home. I have carefully tried to preserve these ideas. No, I don't blame you. Yeah, well, one day in a movie studio and she's been brainwashed. <laughs> now she wants a career in pictures. <laughs> not Annie. That's right, not Annie. It's Veronica now. <laughs> Veronica? Well, we really can't blame her. It was her agent's idea. <laughs> her agent? <laughs> I don't believe it. Uh, look, it's not funny. Uh, no, no, it isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, look, I'm coming over to your place tonight for another lesson. I'll try to think of a way to discourage her. Right, it'll take some thinking, believe me. Uh, you stand by to help, huh? Yeah, don't worry, uh, and good luck. <laughs> Newest, cleanest, brightest. For moms, dads, kids. A different way to shine shoes because the container is the applier. From Johnson's Wax, three great shoe shine products. First, an idea mothers will love. Johnson's self-shining polish in this exclusive container applier. Uncap and apply this easy, dainty way. The liquid dries to a bright, long-lasting shine. No drips, spills, or mess. Then, for the paste polish fan, Johnson Shoe Shine Kit in a Can. A handy sponge dauber, plenty of rich paste polish, even a special shine cloth. And for kids' shoes, there's Johnson Scuffed Shoe Polish in a no drip, no spill, unbreakable container applier. You'll get the newest, cleanest, brightest shine that only Johnson's Wax knows how to put on shoes. There's one for mom, one for dad, and one just right for me. Which Johnson shoe polish will you buy first? Uh, I got it. Oh, hi, Jim. Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd never get here. Well, I've been working on a plan. I think I can discourage her. You got Jim? Uh, yes, uh, Veronica, your student is here. Good evening, James. Good evening. John tells me you've decided to take up acting as a full-time career, Angel. Veronica. <laughs> yes. Oh, it would be so exciting to become a star. Well, you know, it isn't going to be easy. Oh, I know. And it's not going to happen right away, either. Of course not. Might take weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, that isn't all. Do you have any idea of the hard work and the sacrifices that you'd have to make for a career? What kind of sacrifices? Well, for, for one thing, sleep. You know, you have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and work late every night. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> You're kidding. Please, dear. Oh, boy. Well, there are other things, like you'll have to go off on a location, you'll have to spend months away from your home, and your husband. Hmm. How many months? Oh, sometimes two or three months. Sometimes five or six months. Often even as much as a year. A year? My goodness. You mean I, I would have to leave Johnny for a whole year? That's right. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Johnny. I'll make so much money, I take you with me. <laughs> what are you talking about, anyway? I couldn't leave my job. You couldn't or you wouldn't? Well, I wouldn't. Well, that's terribly selfish. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do with her? Well, now, wait a minute. It's one thing for an ordinary housewife to act this way. But maybe she has the talent to justify it. Of course I have. <laughs> Let me find that out. If she has the talent, I'll have to recommend that Veronica spend her time exclusively on her career. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, now let me have the script. Right, we'll find a good scene. Oh, here's one. Right, we can... 
Well, I can't really tell much if I'm in the scene. John, would, would you read the scene with the Veronica? Oh, oh no, no, Johnny. Oh, no, that's funny. Oh, Johnny. No, 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 John. I can't act. You don't have to act. You just read the words so that she'll have her cues. You know, one of the tests of a really great actress is being able to play